the Cold War, you argue, wasn't inevitable. And in fact, at the end of the war, it was the intention of the three leaders uh, that the Grand Alliance, as I think Churchill called it, uh, should continue. Why did, where did it all go wrong? This is a, a much debated question, of course. And I think our main point is some people tend to see the origins of the Cold War way in the Second World War and to blame Roosevelt, blame Churchill. Um, and our, very much from the evidence, it's quite clear that all three powers intended to carry on cooperating, including Stalin. Uh, he thought that, that the Grand Alliance worked in pragmatic terms, that they understood each other, they understood each other's interests. Um, it only really starts to go wrong after the war, at least partly, I think, and this is my personal view, it may not be shared by my other authors, is that because Britain so dramatically lost power after the war, um, the, the Grand Alliance was based on the idea of three equals, kind of balancing each other up as a triangle. Uh, and, and Britain just lost its power after the war for all sorts of reasons. Um, and it left a great gap in international politics. Uh, and it left a lot of uncertainties. You know, Britain had been a world power for 200 years. And neither the Soviet Union nor the United States really knew what to do about that. Uh, and they started pushing against each other in the areas that the British had previously dominated, like the Mediterranean and the Middle East. And neither power was really used to that kind of international politics, particularly the Americans.